Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at an Alienware that we bought off of eBay for around 600 bucks, but this one's actually fairly new and it is not what is in the package. Yeah, we've taken a look at Alien pre -builds. We've got some really ancient ones, ones we paid $10 for, and this one right here is a bit different. It's a bit newer, it has a 5700XC and Ryzen 5 3500, and we paid about 600 bucks for it. Is it worth it? Is this thing any good? We're about to find out, but first, a word from today's sponsor. Are you tired of your unactivated Windows install on your gaming PC. Well, today's video sponsor, GVG Mall, has you covered. GVG Mall is an online marketplace to gain access to really awesome discounted game keys, and more specifically, as we mentioned, Windows 10 licenses. It is incredibly easy to get your Windows 10 or 11 activation key from GVG Mall. Just use code TB20 to get a special discount, and then all you have to do is take that code, put it into Windows, and boom, you have an activated Windows copy. We have been working with GVG Mall for several years now, and we love the reliability of all the products they have to offer. Should be be sure to check the link in the description down below. Use code TB20 to save on your next purchase of a Windows key or other product from GVG Mall. So inside this box is supposed to be an Alienware Aurora R10 that like Matt says has a pretty new Ryzen CPU and also an AMD graphics card in it that we're pretty decent for the time. It should be like 2070 level. And for 600 bucks, when you look at some of the pre-book companies out there, this could be a really good deal to where we need you guys to start looking at eBay more because you could save a lot of money. Now, the biggest thing in a lot of these newer Alienwares get a lot of hate because they're not really well optimized. They're pretty expensive and the cases are kind of eh, but we haven't really taken a look at any of them. So we're gonna give you our impression of it because you know what? That is the only impression that matters. It took five times for me to say that, but you only saw it once. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. <laughs> we have an edible arrangement that I'm excited to be eating. Okay, we're gonna have an Alienware inside of here and it's packaging's not amazing. I mean, it's eBay, so just keep in mind, these are individual sellers. They can package stuff however the heck they want, but one thing you do get with eBay is some really good buyer back protection. So even if the seller doesn't offer returns, as long as it's a trusted seller, make sure they have some reviews, otherwise they might try to pull some sketchy stuff. eBay will typically help you get your refund or help you get your partial refund, whatever happens in case it shows up broken or damaged, which we have had happen a couple times here, especially something that's this heavy. I mean, and it already, it already does not feel right. Uh oh. I also can't tell where the front and the top and the, yeah, it felt like it was like something was like bending when I was holding it, but like maybe it's fine. Yeah, I think it's, it's just fine. a weird shape. I think that's the problem. Which I'm really surprised to me. This thing, I'm gonna guess that weighs about 20 to 20, probably about 25 pounds. And I can't believe that just in that packaging it actually made it. Now we don't know if it works yet or not, but the listing says it's supposed to be a working Alienware. Now the design itself, pretty cool. We got some intake up here. Uh, we have a USB-C, some USB threes, and then a com, well, we have two separate headphone and audio jacks. And then uh, on the back here. it's a lot of USB ports. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, a little bit older board. So they, they had a lot of USB back then, but yeah, tons. I mean, four threes and it looks like six twos. We have ethernet. Um, here's our lock and unlock button. I assume, well, I don't know what that's for. Maybe for the back panel. We'll find out. And then we have a four port graphics card there, which uh, most of the 5700 XTs were. But cosmetically, I think we're good. I mean, it has some scratches it's and like some- some few marks yeah, right here, I but- mean, It's a white case, like shipping, you know, it's gonna happen. But it looks like if we- Oh, oh there it goes. yeah. So you just pull out on this. Typical Alienware, by the way, they're very cool. They always have like, you know, toolless designs. And and typical whatnot. Alienware, you cannot see anything. There's a graphics <laughs> card though. It's a reference style. Yeah, man, that gra or a power supply is like hiding everything. But yeah, this is the open side of the case. Um, yeah, it's just standard mounting. It's not like it's vertical or anything. But yeah, reference style card. I see we have a hard drive here that I'm gonna assume is just like a one terabyte. Do you know what this has an SSD? Uh, I, we're gonna verify that. I'm like, how much do we wanna open this? So one terabyte hard drive with a 256 gig SSD. SD. Is yeah. it two and a half inch or M.2? Uh, right oh. down here, it's a, yeah, it's an M.2. I don't know if it's NVMe, it's the SN520. So I don't, okay. I think that's, that's just, yeah, I think that might be NVMe, but it looks like everything's still plugged in correctly. Um, I can't really tell, like cooler wise, I'm assuming we just have like some sort of stock cooler. I don't want to open this too much at the off chance we break something. I know sometimes you guys accuse us of that. So we better make sure that it works first if we decide we want to go any further. But I mean, cosmetically, it's not bad. It looks like it kind of be a little bit of a hassle to upgrade, but let's be real, what pre-built isn't. Just see the power's on, right? Cause there's supposed to be like some cool lighting up front. Yeah, it is. It is a new Alienware. So I expect it to have some cool stuff going on with it. Whoa. <laughs> wow, very basic Ooh, the RGB. Back, come check out the back. Back's cool. Do we have that in the front? Oh, nice. No, this one does not have like the little, sometimes you get the ones that have the contact pins, but now it's just a pretty generic front. So I guess maybe you'd probably want this side uh, to face your, your desk, you know what I mean? So you could actually see it. So you'd probably, 
would have it something <laughs> something like that. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah, nice and scooty. But no, I mean, it looks it looks pretty sweet, and it almost looks like the board is like pretty standard, honestly. I mean, I'm sure it has. Yeah, it can definitely it does have some special connectors, but it looks like it's like a standard form factor. So maybe you could even do like a case swap if you're smart enough. But it's not really worth it with a system that's this new. Like you could you would buy this and be able to play AAA in esports tied as long as everything works correctly. And that's what we're here to find out. We're here to find out if this works well. And if it does, we will have some affiliate links in the description down below so that you guys can look up similar searches to be able to buy um, you know, find your own deals basically. We're just here to kind of point you in the right direction. So yeah, what we're gonna go ahead and do is probably plug this thing up, see if it works. And then from there, we will try to give you a little bit of a closer look on the inside so we can see what the motherboard and everything looks like without damaging it. But yeah, since the packaging was a little suspect, we wanna make sure this thing actually has a display out and works before we go any further. All right guys, we're playing Apex Legends and we are currently- It's like medium high. Medium high settings, I really, nope. Let me change yeah, these around nice. a little bit. All right, I went a little crazy in, in the sauce there, in the paint, but yeah, this is an Apex Legends deathmatch, so. And you're getting blasted oh already. Oh, like oh, wow. Well, oh, 800 plus done. FPS. I mean, it looks like we're right now bottlenecked by the 5700 XT, but that 3500, uh, something that I kind of forgot about, is just a six core, six thread. So, yeah, um, interesting OG. little CPU. It's the Legend celebration. How about just not seeing these? Can't hit me. Can't hit me. Can't hit me. They're hitting me. They're hitting me. They're hitting me. They're hitting me. Do we only have three kills? Yeah, all mine. Oh, I just got stuck. Oh, 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 God. Oh, my Lord. Breathe it in. Wreak havoc on them. Woo. We're in the come up, brother. Mark my word. Oh, crap, that gun is so busted. No, oh, he was so dead. Oh my god. Oh, oh man, there it out. goes. Game over. Well, Team Deathmatch and Apex is it's something. I don't know what you yeah. guys think. Let us know down below. But uh, I had a good team. I think I think it'd be fun. But that that was not fun with how we were playing. We went to the next game. All right, gamers, we're in Fortnite, and guess what? We're not running performance settings, because uh, based on the, oh God, oh God, I wasn't running full screen, but you know what? We're just gonna run with that. We'll see what it does. Uh, we have uh, medium anti-aliasing going on here, balanced super resolution, so we actually take advantage of a little uh, upscaling here, but we're pretty much on like high settings. I'm not gonna save that, we're just gonna run with it. And so far, doing pretty good, not too shabby. No, come yeah. back here. <laughs> Leave your gaming setup alone. Oh no, he has hammer or whatever the hell. Oh! Oh, he is pissed, but he's coming for you. It's crazy how much speed that came out. Oh, he, that's a real player. Oh! That's a real player. I Damn. ran out of ammo! I'm Here running it back. Kill. Look at that gritty, yo. Oh, oh. it's just lift. Pumping, oh, pumping that iron. I, I'm so. This is just such a mess. There's the bus! Get on the bus! Get on the bus! <laughs> Uh-oh. Know a guy. Okay, so over here. It, why are the bullets so confusing? Why are they shooting me through the street? That was sad. That was just been bad. Hey. This guy knows what he's doing. What just killed you? I guess I got shotgun in the head, them coming down the stairs. That was kind of wild, Dang. but Fortnite! Yay, we're in the crazy lobby. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, I mean, performance was really solid, actually. It didn't get too hot, it worked well, and I think we got a pretty good value with this Alienware because it's a unique case you don't normally see very often. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is run some built-in benchmarks and uh, wrap this video up real quick, because Fortnite's getting a little, a little, a little too freaky for my Gosh. liking. All right guys, so this thing did pretty good for only 600 bucks. And if you've ever wanted an Alienware, which let's be honest, almost all of us, especially when we were younger, we always wanted some Alienwares. And now we can finally afford them. We don't have to spend the probably $2,000 this thing was when it came out. 
we're able to get them on eBay second hand and they work perfect for around $600 and obviously there's tons of different models so the affiliate link in the description down below will just be a generic search but hopefully you can find something just like this. And as we mentioned uh, during the unboxing portion of today's video we were going to show you guys the inside of this thing and as you see b-roll on screen right now it's pretty easy to open up you unlock these two locks in the back and then it will swivel out so you can see the CPU the RAM which the guy went with four RAM sticks good on you um, and it has well just a basic CPU cooler which I was kind of surprised because the temperatures on the CPU were pretty solid with that Ryzen 5 3500. So I think for the combo we got, it's a pretty good buy. And I think this is a very unique case. So you're not really gonna find a case like this on the market to build yourself. Yes, it does use proprietary hardware, but I think the pros outweigh the cons in this one. And yeah, check those links down below to shop for an Alienware yourself. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, goodbye. So this PC right here will be for sale at PCBros.Tech if you want to be able to pick this up, you want to be able to game on it, and you want that customer guaranteed satisfaction, we got it there for you, one year parts and labor warranty. PCBros.Tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and even merch. Buy some PC Bros and Toasty Bros merch. Walk around with your merch, look amazing. Use code Toasty Bros 2 on checkout to save 2% on your next purchase. See you guys later, goodbye.